In this lesson, we're going to learn about the surface area of cylinders and cones. So the first one here is a cylinder. Here is the 3D picture of a cylinder. And then over on the right is the net of a cylinder. A net is what it would look like if it were um, flattened out or if you would take it apart and see the shape. So net is 2D and it helps us to find the surface area because we can see the shapes that it makes. So first of all, I see two congruent circles. So that's the first two shapes I see, two congruent circles. And then there is a rectangle. So three shapes here that make up the net of a cylinder. So I have to think, how do I find the area of a rectangle? Well, that would be length times width. And then how do I find the area of a circle? It would be pi r squared. And it would be the same for both, pi r squared. So I know that I'm going to be using those formulas to come up with the surface area of a cylinder. We'll get into more detail on the next slide. The second shape we're going to talk about is a cone. So a cone, here would be the 3D version of a cone, and then this would be the net or the 2D version. So a cone has a circle, and then this odd shape up here, we really don't have a name for this shape. There's a curved edge here. So this one's going to be kind of hard to find the area of. Um, but we'll get into more detail, but I do know that to find the area of a circle would be pi r squared. So we're going to take this knowledge and apply it in order to find the surface area of cylinders and cones. Okay, so here is a cylinder and the net of a cylinder. Um, ignore the 5 by 10 um, centimeter cylinder to the right. We're just going to talk about the surface area of a cylinder. Okay, so we see that the length of this rectangle is 2 pi r. Now, if you remember, 2 pi r is the circumference of a circle. Now, here's why this makes sense, because if we were to fold this shape up and make it into a cylinder, uh, the length of this rectangle here, the length of this rectangle, would equal the circumference of each circle here. So it makes sense that the length would be 2 pi r. So surface area would be 2 pi r. Now remember we need to do length times width of the rectangle. The width of this rectangle is the height of the cylinder. So 2 pi r times h. That would get you the length times width of the rectangle. And now we just need to add on the area of the two circles. So remember to find the area of a circle, it would be pi r squared. Um, but there's two of them, so it's going to be 2 pi r squared. So to find the surface area of a cylinder, this would be the formula that you would use. 2 pi r times h, and then 2 pi r squared. So we're going to look at that using this example. So Using the formula, 2 times pi times the radius, which is 5, times the height, which is 10. And then we have a plus sign, 2 times pi times the radius squared. The radius is 5, and then we're going to square it. Okay, so starting with the 5 squared, that would be 25 times 3.14 times 2. That would equal 157. Um, and then I'm just going to do one step at a time here. So 2 times pi times 5 times 10. And that would equal 314. So we have 314 plus 157. And that equals 471. And it would just be centimeters because we're, uh, and it would be centimeters squared, I'm sorry, because we're finding the area. So the surface area of this cylinder would be 471 centimeters squared. Okay, so now we're going to look at the volume of a cone. So we have this odd shape here on the net, this kind of 
partial rectangle, but it's or a partial triangle, but it's got a curve at the bottom. How we're going to find the area of that is pi times r times l. Now, l here is going to be the slant height of the cone. And that's typically the height given. So, the slant height would be this l here. Okay, so the first part to find the surface area of a cone is going to be to take pi times r times l, or the slant height. The second part is going to be the area of a circle. We know the area of a circle is pi r squared, so we're going to add pi r squared to our formula. So here would be the formula for the surface area of a cone. So now we're going to apply that to the picture shown. So here we have a cone, and it's hard to see the numbers here, but the radius is 5 inches, and the slant height is 8 inches. So we're going to plug those numbers in. So pi times the radius, which is 5, times the slant height, which is 8, and then we're going to add pi times the radius squared, so 5 squared. Now 25, which is 5 squared, times pi would be 78.5. And then we're going to do 5 times 8, which is 40, times 3.14 for pi would be 125.6. And then we're going to add 78.5 to that, and we get 204.1 inches squared for the surface area of the cone. Okay, here are your two practice problems. The first one is the surface area of a cylinder. The second one is the surface area of a cone. This 12 inches here is the slant height of the cone, just to be clear.